Hello, graduate committee. My name is Jacob Schraub, and I'm in the final year of my degree in mathematics and statistics at McGill University in Quebec, Canada. My interest in getting a PhD in mathematics is to continue my pursuit in the field which I find really fascinating. In particular, at Courant, I want to become an applied researcher in probability theory and PDEs and work in areas related to physics and mathematical biology. My path to arrive at this conclusion has been slightly nonlinear, as I believed that before pursuing mathematics, I would do chemistry or biology. But after taking foundational courses in, in real analysis, in discrete mathematics, and in theoretical computer science, I quickly learned that I felt way more comfortable with formalized mathematics and real analysis, enjoying the fine details of proofs and the breadth of material there was to absorb. Um, my favorite mathematical questions are those that arise from random systems and environments. For example, how do certain invariance principles arise in the continuum limit? What happens to the regularity and entropic behavior of certain systems, i.e. shocks arising in the characteristics of PDEs? Uh, what are the rates of convergence of certain Markov chains to stationarity, i.e. Their, their mixing times? I'm interested in this interface between PDEs and probability theory and statistical physics, and some of my summer research is a reflection of this interest as our aim was to develop an invariance principle for certain random walks in random periodic environment and relate them back to the theory of elliptic non-divergence form equations. I chose NYU Courant due to their wonderful probability department, diverse and rigorous curriculum that perfectly fits my interest, as well as the potential for really exciting and interesting research opportunities. I believe that getting a PhD would allow me to exercise this general curiosity and achieve my goal of becoming an analyst and probabilist in an environment that supports its graduate students. Uh, and now I'll discuss uh, feynman cotts representations, and I hope you enjoy. So on the left-hand side, we have that for a uh, fixed Brownian motion, and for a function f to x, that's in C12, uh, in 0 cross infinity, or 0 to infinity cross r, we have a formula that we like to call Eco's formula, that basically gives you how to do calculus in, in so with stochastic processes. Um, so in this box form, this is the true, true equation, but we like to use the differential form of this. So we say that df is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to t, ds, plus the partial derivative of f with respect to x, dbs, that's important, so we're integrating with respect to Brownian motion, plus one-half partial derivative of uh, f with respect to x twice, ds. And here we've summarized in a certain, in a, in a box, what the rules of stochastic calculus are when you deal with differentials in Brownian motion. Now on the right-hand side, we have uh, an initial value problem for, for PDE. We have the ut uh, tx is equal to one half u double x uh, tx plus gx times u. Uh, this looks similar to the heat equation, only we've added a term gx u. Uh, and we also have initial conditions that u uh, uh, at the initial time is equal to f. Now, we suppose that both f and x are continuous and bounded on r, and we suppose that u solves the initial value problem. Then we get that u actually has a representation formula in terms of Brownian motion uh, given in this box right here. So it's the expectation uh, under Brownian motion of f of bt plus x, basically Brownian motion starting at x and continuing onward at time t, times uh, e raised to this integral term in g. Now to actually prove this, we suppose we have uh, this test function here that we've created arbitrarily, uh, ht dt. And we set it equal to u uh, s minus t dt plus x times e raised to this integral of 0 of t of g of dr plus x dr. And we suppose that s is some fixed time point greater than or equal to 0. Then we can actually use Ito's formula. Uh, I won't show it here, but you can use Ito's formula to prove that h is actually a martingale. Because since u satisfies the IVP, certain terms will cancel out. And you're left with a term that only integrates Brownian motion. And we know that all Ito integrals are actually martingales. Now, once we know this, we can show that the expectation of h t dt is always equal to the expectation of h of 0 b 0. That's because it's a martingale, so all the expectations at any time points are all the same, using conditional expectations. But if we look at the left-hand side at t, we get u0 uh, b t plus x, which is f b t plus x, times this exponential term. Uh, it's equal to the to the right hand side, where at zero you basically extract u s uh, comma x because b zero is zero, and uh, the it'll just be s minus zero. So.
so and the exponential term is also going to be one, which means that we we essentially get u s x is equal to this uh, representation formula that we've shown. So it's a very nice application.